Hi YouTube, this is Jack from ENT Bites. Today let's talk about the infratemporal fossa, um, which is essentially uh, this region inferior to the temporal fossa. Um, so the boundaries of the infratemporal fossa uh, include superiorly uh, the uh, inferior part um, of the um, great wing of the sphenoid, uh, anteriorly, you have the posterior aspect of the maxilla. Posteriorly, um, there are several uh, structures. So there's the tympanic plate, the mastoid process, uh, and the styloid process uh, of the temporal bone. Inferiorly, um, it is bordered by uh, essentially the point where the medial pterygoid attaches um, to the mandible uh, near the angle, so that's on the internal surface. Uh, here. These are cut surfaces, by the way. Um, laterally, the border is the ramus of the mandible here, and uh, medially, the border is the uh, lateral pterygoid plate. So what's inside the infratemporal fossa? The contents um, include muscles, arteries, veins, and nerves. So the muscles include um, the inferior part of temporalis, um, which will be running down here. Um, also the um, lateral uh, and medial pterygoids. Medial pterygoids, the uh, main artery running through is the maxillary artery, uh, which runs uh, across a little bit like this, um, and uh, also all of the branches of the maxillary artery, which we won't go into today. Um, the veins, uh, most of the infratemporal fossa is occupied by the um, pterygoid venous plexus. Uh, and lastly, nerves. So the main nerve is the uh, mandibular uh, branch uh, of the trigeminal nerve, uh, and also all of its um, its. Uh, other branches, including, uh, for example, the lingual, auriculotemporal, um, buccal. Um, I won't go into all those details uh, today, I'll be explained in a different video. Um, also should be noted, uh, the otic ganglion is also present, as well as the um, corda tympani. Uh, Which is a, as you know, a branch of the uh, facial nerve coming from the middle ear. So that's a brief overview of the infratemporal fossa. Thanks for listening, everyone. Um, if you like the video, click subscribe. Click subscribe for some more anatomy videos.